Just how far are you willing to take this charade? To the bitter end. <laughs> Might as well be the end, since Philip is outside right now, scheduling an angiogram for you. What? Yes, and naturally, when they discover that you are healthy as a horse, they will. And then, of course, you could succumb to shock or stress or any of the other diseases. Dad! Good news, Mr. Spaulding. An operating room has become available. No. Excuse me? Dad. No surgery. Alan, you need surgery. Why, would you would you give me one good reason why you won't have this test? Because I don't need surgery. I haven't exactly been telling you all the truth. You're probably wondering why I asked you here today. Sounds like one of those mob movies, doesn't it? You're probably wondering why I asked you here today, Get to the kid. the point, Cooper. Right, right, the point. The point is, was I a good detective? The best. Right. I solved a lot of those cases that you thought were going to be closed because you had lack of evidence. Right? Remember remember the violin murders, the case you called Hey Diddle Diddle? I single-handedly solved them. I hate having one of my finest on suspension, if that's what you're asking me. No, it's... What I'm saying to you is that... that I'm desperately trying to get my life back in order, okay? And, and I think that the, um, the smart thing to do would be, obviously, to get back my job. So what I'm asking you now is uh, if somehow, I was wondering if maybe you would think about reinstating me. Where's Harley? She's uh, inside having a meeting with the chief. Well, when you said you were with her, I thought that you, <sighs> never mind. What does make? What difference? You needed to talk to me, what? So. Can we sit down? Sure. I just got my stitches out, and I'm feeling a little wobbly. Huh? And, yeah, no, it didn't hurt as bad as when I took the bullet for you. But it left a big scar. You want to see? No. All right, so you saved my life. What else? Was there something else? OK. All right, here's the deal. So I moved out of the Santos as, like, a good little girl. But now I'm thinking maybe that was a big mistake. Look. It's not too late. I can move back in. Carmen will let me move back in. You actually think that you'd move back into the Santos house? Over my dead body. May I help you? Yes, I need to find Cassie Winslow. Yeah, she's in the wine cellar. Good. Just show me the way. Oh, I can't let you down there. It's for staff only. Well, I just want to talk to him. Fine, I'll just sit here and wait. Two times in one day. Lucky me. Cassie says she has something for me. Of course, it would be a miracle if, um... If what? Can we have a drink here for a minute? Why? As I said to you earlier, Edmund, I need some company. You have no idea what I have been through. Carmen, I thought I made this perfectly clear that we're no longer involved. Besides, you're hardly in any condition to be seen out in public. Tell me something. What is grief supposed to look like? All right, Carmen, all right, you've got my attention. What, what, what is all this about? My son. Danny, what about him? He's dead. Carmen shot you? Cassie. Your own mother Cassie. shot you, Danny? If she thinks I'm still alive. She'll come after me. I don't understand how she Please. can do that, Danny. Please, you gotta promise me that you won't tell anyone. Danny, why? Please. Why promise would me. your mother do this to you? <laughs> oh, my God, this was about the money? <laughs> The money that I found in my room, the money I used to pay my debt? She was right, wasn't she? Yes, Cassie. Danny, she suspected that you took the money out of one of her accounts mm. and you gave it to me. And you were denying it. It's not what you think. But it's the it's truth, not... though, isn't it, Danny? That's why you told me to get my kids out of town, because you knew she was going to do something. And she did. She tried to kill you? That's why you're lying here bleeding to death, because you were trying to help me? <laughs>
No, it's not what you think. I wasn't helping you. I was using you. To make my mother suspicious. Suspicious of what, then? Of me. Of me. To make her think... To make her think that I turned against her. Why? Because I had... I was working with... I was working with the federal government. I had to put her and some of the others away. Because it was the only way to make her... To make Michelle and Robbie... To make sure that they'd be safe. It was the only way. And Michelle has no idea about this? No, she couldn't. She couldn't. She couldn't you know. trying to protect her? Richard did the same thing to me. He would make a plan and then he wouldn't tell me about it. Danny, you have got to be honest with her. You've got to tell her about things like this. No, she would have been in danger. If she knew. All right, how, how does taking the money have anything to do with the federal because, government, Danny? Because, because I had to make her try and, try and kill me. Try and kill you? Mm -hmm. Because then the feds could get her for murder, for attempted murder. But she found out about, about my plan a day soon, and she got to me a day early. Oh, my God. And you, even I, if this went off without a hitch, Danny, you could have been killed. Do you know no, that? I don't care. It was necessary if it had to be. This is crazy. It had to be. Oh, my God. This is crazy. You know, don't, your mother Cassie. is here, and she's upstairs. What? I've got to get rid of her. No. No, 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 no. I want you to lie no, still, and I want you to she's smart. Rest. She'll know. Danny, she's not going to know. know. Okay, listen She'll to me. Know. I am not going to let her finish her. the job. Stay Danny. away from her. Stay away Trust from her. Trust me, okay? Trust Cassie. me. Cassie. I am not going to let anything happen to you. No. No, please. No. Uh, uh, no. Ah. Did anybody get my memo? No cold pizza, no cold leftovers. I'm starving. Come in. Hey, buddy. <sighs> Frank, if you brought a hot pizza, you'll be my best friend. Um, was I supposed to? No, it's just that I'm just, I'm just so hungry. And, you know, when everybody in the house is in the middle of a nervous breakdown, you forget to go grocery shopping. But that's my problem, Frankie, not yours. So, what's up with you? Well, um, actually... I, I wish I had by... time to listen to you, Frank, but I'm really late. I've got to get going to work. Uh, well, no offense. I didn't really come here to see you. Oh. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no, no, seriously, I, I came by to, uh, to see Michelle. You know, given everything that's happened, I just want to see if I can help her. Frankie, you could have helped her a long time ago. What does that mean? Everything. Everything would be different right now if you just would have gotten off your duff and asked her to get married before Danny Santos made her life a living hell. Let me show you all something. Alan. Little jumping jacks, Alan, huh? What are you doing? What, what are you? Oh, what about this? How about a little oh, dance, oh, Alexandra? What are you doing? Oh, you want to fall down and die because you need to have an angiogram? No, I don't need anything, Philip. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I could run a marathon. Not according to the tests. Yes, well, those tests belong to the man next to me. What? What? I switched the charts. I'll be happy to take those tests again. What? What, the, well, what, then where are your files? Well, someone must have taken it. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? Why would, why would you want to make your condition look worse than it is? I didn't want to make it look worse, Philip. I wanted to be declared well, so that I could be a proper husband to my wife. I just wanted to get out of here and get on with my life. That's all. And you thought the patient next to you... Well, how did I know he wasn't fit? He looked fit to me. I he was the wrong person. So I guess we're starting over. Usually we end with the stress test, but that's what you're scheduled for now, so we'll do that first. Ready when you are, Doctor? Oh, come on, darling. Let me give you a bit more stress. <laughs> come on. <laughs> God, this is just so typical of him. 
He doesn't like something, so he decides he's just gonna change it himself. Just, ah, uh, to hell with the consequences. What, what, what about this guy in the bed over here? This guy could be dead already. Is he thinking about that? No, he doesn't care about that because he's too busy trying to prove something for himself. Ah. Oh. Olivia. Hey, are you all right? It was crazy what he did, but don't you see what he was doing? He... He was willing to risk his life to be with me. He was pretending not to be well. for a long time. Yeah, I hope so. Me too. <laughs> Maybe we should go check on him. Why don't you go? I think... I think he wants to be with his wife. Okay. You gonna be here when we get back? You know, I don't think so. I think I'm, you know, Rick's back working again, and I was going to stop by and see how he was doing before I head out. Unless, is there anything else that you need me for? No, no, I'm fine. Thanks. I'll see you later. Okay. The Spalding family carries a lot of weight in this town. The reason you were suspended in the first place is because... because... I got carried away and I broke into their house. I know. That was way out of line. But, yeah, look, you have kids, right? I mean, what if your wife had kidnapped your son? Philip was completely unreasonable. And, and I just, I miss Zach so much that I, I just freaked out and I did something really, really stupid. And I really regret it. I do. But, hey, you don't see me hiring some hotshot attorney, do you? No, because I want to set an example for my children. I want to teach them that they are responsible for their actions. I made a mistake, and I paid the price. With your suspension. Yes, but, but, but I'm, I'm also trying to teach them now that, you know, when you get knocked down, you pick yourself back up, and that's why I want my job back. I mean, I accept the consequences of my actions. I do, but, I mean, really, this suspension has gone on long enough, hasn't it? Cooper. Nobody wants you back in the squad room more than I do, but unless you have something new to tell What's me... What's new? What, what, what new? New is if Philip Spaulding is dropping the charges. And if he doesn't? I'm sorry. My hands are tied. Listen. You are not moving back into the Santos house. You got it? Carmen is losing it. She has been drinking, and she is wandering around the restaurant last night talking to herself. What is she saying? I don't know. It's in Spanish. But you know her nephew that's a priest? Yes. He won't take her phone calls. Father Ray won't take her. So she must... She must have told him something. He must know something. You see, I can help. They are going down. I can feel it. Carmen is unraveling before my eyes. Tony won't even talk to her. Oh. So now I understand. That's the reason why you want to go back to the Santos house. You're falling in love with Tony. What? What do you mean? His father killed our dad. No, the only reason I want to go back there is to make them pay. You listen to me, okay? You stay away from Carmen or else. Or else what? Huh? Or else what? <sighs> 
to stay here for a minute. Don't move. I gotta do something. How many unsolved cases do you have sitting on your desk right now? Too many. But I still can't be in state to you. The Spaulding's are not your average family, Cooper. They are very powerful. And the commissioner is just not gonna go against them. Sorry to interrupt there, Chief, but we were talking about the Spaulding's, and I say, don't worry about the Spaulding's. Let it go. Did you tell him? Tell him what? You didn't? She didn't? I can't believe... Cooper got a, a big, fat job off. Want to come and have a drink? Now, are you quite certain that Danny's dead? He has to be. All right, what does that mean? I... I can't. I can't talk about this, Edmund. My sons are gone. Both my sons are gone now. No, wait a minute, Carmen. If, if Danny is dead, I think I would have seen something about it in the news. They haven't found the body. That's what happens. All oh, right, right. Now I remember. I think that was the plan when Danny was trying to kill me. Just push me and the car into the lake and let the fishies do the rest. He would have never attempted that. It was the first time and the only time. He was... He was always such a sweet boy. Please forgive me, Carmen, if I don't want to reminisce about the good old times with your son. All I want from you is a little company. Company? Yes. Come home with me. Spend the night so that um, I don't feel so alone. So alone? Carmen, you are alone. We are no longer together. <laughs> you're just afraid your baroness will find out, isn't that it? Enjoy your drink, Carmen. It'll be the only thing keeping you warm tonight. Continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Why do you have to speak with my son? Because I have left tons of messages for him and he hasn't returned my phone call and no one seems to know where he is. Why is it so important to reach him? This hotel is why. I am trying to run a legitimate business here, Carmen, and everyone knows who Danny is and they recognize him. So? So I paid my debt. And I want Danny to stay away. I don't think that'll be a problem. Well, that goes for you, too. And the rest of your family. Funny. You didn't seem too worried about this a uh, couple of days ago. Well, I've had a couple of days to think about it, Carmen. I'm tired. I'm gone. Carmen, if you see Danny, You'll give him the message, right? If I see him. Outside company, but this. Just stay there. I'll be there in 10 minutes. But my brother's here. Carmen. Carmen. 
So wait a second now. Are you telling me, am I the first? Hold on a second. Chicago Police Department called and they offered you a job. They said they, they left you a message on your phone. They offered you a job. You didn't check the message? You no, I'm not kidding. They said, sorry, Chief. They said it was because you had done such a great job with your PI work, something you did for them. In oh, my gosh. Yeah. And they want to hire me? Honey, yes, do they want to hire you? It's a very prominent position. You're not going to believe this. Chicago Vice, okay? <gasps> so forget about the Spalding thing. No, Let it go. No, wait Let a it minute. Go. Wait a minute. Let it go. I put a lot of time and effort into training you, Cooper, and now you're just going to waltz on off to well, Chicago. No, this is a good way to smooth it no, all over. No, you are not going smooth. to Chicago. Well, clear things up for the commissioner. Does that mean you want to reinstate me? Immediately. No, hold on a second. I think you should well, think about it because they offered a lot more money. A lot more money. All right, all right, about. all right, all right. I'll throw in a raise. Now you should ask for an office. No, and you do not get an office until another year. Hmm. Do we have a deal? Uh, we have a deal? Uh, I think so, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. you are there. Chief. I'll get back to the station and lucky start drawing up the papers. Meanwhile, you call Chicago. And you tell them to keep their mitts off of my detectives. <laughs> Got it loud and clear. <laughs> Lucky guy there, Chief. I can't believe Chief's it. Good. I didn't know anybody thought that highly of me. Before you came in, you should have heard the things he was saying to me. There is no offer, is there? <laughs> <clears throat> well, I made it up. I, I made it all up. You risked my entire well, no, career on a silly No, hold on a second. Bluff? I got you your job back, and I got you a raise. You can't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. <laughs> Wait, do, because, because... Don't be what? Because, because... Because... Because of the things I do, the wonderful things I do, what? Because I didn't think of it first. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> what was that that Dr. Pierce said? That I was as fit as most men half my age, and it appears that I've made a full recovery. Yeah, appears is right. I must admit, Alexandra, I was a little worried as, as to how I was going to get out of this one, but everything turned out beautifully in the end. <laughs> I must admit, I was rather looking forward to that angiogram. <laughs> a little worried because you couldn't blackmail me any longer for being healthy? Well, at least I'll... Have the company to comfort me. Ah, oh, yes. But remember, I will be upstairs preparing for your demise. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And now that Olivia can be my wife in every way, it's only a matter of time before you'll be ousted as CEO of Spalding Enterprises. My, I have so much to look forward to. Hmm. Bet on it, brother dearest. Where's Alan? He's upstairs, slicking himself down with baby oil. Excuse me? Well, he's got a clean bill of health, so he's ready to start his honeymoon. And you, my dear, had better get ready to start packing. Here's a tape. On it, I have a certain bride kissing a certain best man, and I'm ready to show it to Alan. Would you like me to turn on the VCR for you? What? Play the tape. I want you to. I think Alan's strong enough to, to handle it. And you know what? I don't want this secret. I'll get him for you. Alan, could you come down here, please? OK, Alexandra. Let's get this over with. Got your page. Hey, is everything okay? Oh uh, yeah, everything's right? fine. I just uh, brought my dad by to see uh, your heart specialist, actually, Dr. Pierce. How's he doing? He's doing fine. Good. He's doing That's fine. Good. Seems like he's uh, on his way to a full recovery. Good. So, uh, how are you doing? Uh, I'm I'm back uh, working half days for the time being. I'm yeah. just listen. I'm just glad to be out of the house and working. Yeah, yeah That's this is great. I'm sure. That's good. Thanks. What is it? Nothing. I just uh, I was here. I thought I'd stop by and see how you're doing. Well, I'm here, so why don't you just tell me what's on your mind? <laughs> I need uh, I need a little friendly advice. I am full of advice. Yeah. 
Well, it's just, you know, I'm, I know you have a little more practice at doing this than I do. Practice at what? Doing the right thing. Do you want to show this tape to Alan? I'm going to end this, Alexandra, once and for all. Now put the tape in the VCR. <laughs> you, you are willing to lose everything? I don't give a damn. A few hours ago, I thought, I thought Alan was on the verge of dying. And then I learned that he wasn't. He was only willing to risk dying for me. What have you learned? You know, you keep saying that you came back here to keep your family from self-destructing, but is that really true? Don't even begin to understand my motives. That's just it. I don't get you at all. Alan loves me. I love him. But you are determined to break us up. You know, if you, if you really loved your brother... I do love my brother. ...then stop trying to ruin his life. Well, I just think that it's time that Alan knew what was going on. Nothing is going on. It was one impulsive kiss in an elevator. Oh, really? And what about at the hospital just now? I saw you with Philip yeah. in his arms. He was just comforting me. Oh, yes, sure. It was so convenient, wasn't it, to have him comfort you? That's not what was going on, and you know it. Listen to me. Philip and I made a mistake. It will never happen again. Well, there you are, darling. I've been looking for you. Am I interrupting something? Oh, <laughs> no, no. It's nothing important. Listen to me. I, uh, I need to take a shower. But then will you meet me upstairs in the honeymoon suite? A quick shower, Mrs. Spoiler. If I take too long, you know where to find me. I'm a lucky man. <gasps> what? I almost believe you. Danny. How are you hanging in there? Where's Carmen? She's gone. Is she here? No, but Where she's is gone. she? She is gone. I, I, what I, did told, say to her? I told her I was trying to track you down, and then I asked her to leave. What? What do you mean? I told her that I didn't want what any of my guests thinking that I was associating with the Santos, and I asked her to leave, and I asked her no, to give you the message. No, no, no. What did she say? What did she say to Well, me? she kind of made it seem like she didn't think she was going to be <laughs> seeing you anytime soon. She bought it, Dan. Okay, do you hear me? She bought it. Everything's gonna be okay. You're safe. She wasn't fishing around. Because if she finds us here... She is not going to find us here. If anything, she's walking around the beach looking for a dead body right now. You really think that my mother thinks I'm dead? to make everyone else think I'm dead. I cannot believe it was so easy getting my job back. Well, you know, sometimes people don't appreciate what they have until they lose it. You're right. Yeah. Yeah? Move back in with me. Say what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Move back in with me. Because I've already told Philip where to go. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Please tell me that's a yes. That's a hell yeah. <laughs> Can I get a hell yeah? yeah. <laughs> when, tonight? Is tonight too soon? Is the next hour too soon? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Charles. It's here. Oh, yes. This is Charles. Yes, I the usness of us. The usness of us. <laughs> what are you guys celebrating? Uh, well, uh, we solved the housing problem. <laughs> you can, uh, have my place. You can stay there, okay? Well, where are you gonna sleep? You're gonna be staying with Harley. If she changes her mind. Oh, fat that chance of that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll only take a few minutes. This is about your brother. 
that's what I keep trying to tell you. He's right inside. What are you afraid of? Hmm? What's he gonna do? Well, he thinks that you had something to do with the disappearance of your son. And do you? Well, you did have me distract Tony that night. Is that what you told your brother? Isn't that what happened? That's not the way I remember it. Oh, it isn't? Now, if I remember, I told you to stay home and watch the house while Maria and I went to Mass. What does Tony remember? Tony remembers what you told him. But maybe, maybe just, maybe you were a little confused. Yeah, that whole night was a big blur to me. You know, I've just been so stressed out, not knowing where I'm living, and, you know, who knows what I'll say when it comes time to talk to the police. Well, maybe you can search your memory, you know? For your good pal, Carmen Santos. And maybe you can come back and move in with us again. Yeah, Mass and Maria, yeah. I think it's all coming back to me now. No, Danny. Cassie. Absolutely not. I'm not going to walk around town and tell people that you're dead. I need to buy time. I don't care. I need to... I need Danny, to... I know what it's like Cass to lose somewhere. Cassie. I'm not going to put Rodney and Michelle through Carmen, It's too cruel. Carmen, listen to me. Carmen has to think that I'm dead. And she won't if other people aren't aren't acting like it. And if there is no body, Michelle is going to hold on to hope, Danny. And that will make my mother it. suspicious. And she'll start asking questions. And she'll go after Michelle and Robbie and you. But not if I'm dead. Please. I can't do it, Danny. I'm sorry. Please. No, I know what it's like to Please. lose someone. And I can't put Michelle through so The answer is no. <laughs> Does this have anything to do with Olivia? Yep, keeping your hands off your father's wife's a pretty hard thing, isn't it? I'm sure glad my dad's single. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying this. I'm not so enjoying it. I really thought you got past this. Well, so did I. So what's going on? Well, I don't know, Rick. You know, we talked about it. Olivia and I had a conversation. We decided that this attraction that we have for each other was something that just couldn't go anywhere. Okay, so where is it now? A little while ago in my father's room, uh, she was upset. And so I, I, you know, I did what people do. I, I held her. And that's all. That's all it was. I swear to God, that's all it was. I just, I just held her. Of course, while I was holding her, I realized that I was starting to feel Whoa. things. You didn't kiss her again, no, did you? No, I didn't. No, no, this time it was different. See it? I, I, I sort of felt like this thing between us was just a physical thing. It was just chemistry and it would go away. But today, today, you saying, you saying you got feelings for Olivia? Is that what you're saying? I don't know what I'm saying, Rick. All I know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. My, my father loves her and I love him. Well, and there's no room in that equation for me. Unless, unless Olivia's got feelings for you and that would make your no, father the no, odd No, no, because, damn it, there's some things that you just don't do. And stealing your father's wife is one of them. If, if she's not no. in love with your no, father, no, 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 it makes I don't, you know, thing I don't want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because I don't care what I have to do. I'm not going to do that to my father. You really do love her, don't you? Yes. I do. I was afraid of that. I haven't seen that look in your eyes for years. <laughs> and it worries you? Yes. Why is that? Because <laughs> you and I just aren't very good at love. Maybe it's time that I change that. Rest assured, Alexandra, I'll be in good hands. Or very soon.
This has been Guiding Light.